welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I'm not sure if it's popular or anything, but it's just something I thought of because um, it has something to do with my favorite celebrity and you guys know who it is if you have watched my other videos. I would love for you to go watch my previous video because it would mean so much to me. I work very hard on my videos and I love when people would just could just give it a view and just click and subscribe if you like my channel. We're just going to be watching the first time I met my favorite celebrity ever. I want to give you a little bit of backstory about it and everything. If you don't know who my favorite celebrity is, I will go ahead and tell you. It is Shania Twain. <laughs> just for some backstory, I've always liked her. Um, I've loved her music and everything. and. I was performing her songs when I was younger, pretending I was like an artist on stage and all that because I am a singer-songwriter as well. So I just always have been that kind of person that's been musically um, interested and um, just loved performing and being creative as she is. I never went to one of her concerts before ever when I was younger. Family, we would watch the Up Tour that was on the VHS. And that was what I saw. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, little bits and pieces of watching her and like just dancing around the living room and stuff. Sadly, we didn't have any of that on film. If it were now and I was like little, I we would still have it on film because now it's just so much easier to film things and just have it easily put out there. So that's a little bit of the backstory of how I started getting to know Shania. I listened to her music in the car as like most people know when they were kids they listened to her in the back seat of their parents car whoever they were with my mom she would play her music on the way to take me to daycare and back i remember that and i also remember when i was younger i was in the hospital a lot because i had a lot of surgeries and stuff and i remember my little cd player little round cd player i literally had her cds and avril lavigne's like seriously those two those are my favorite artists ever like oh my god i cannot i really want to see Apple Levine in concert for my first time. Like, ah, I've seen Shania so many times and I'm like, I love it so much and I want to see Apple Levine as well because they're, they're just my favorite artists. Now let's get to what I'm going to be showing you guys. If you don't know much about Shania, like, you know, she left the spotlight for a while. It's because she had Lyme disease. She also had a baby, so she wanted to take a break from singing and everything. And yeah, so she didn't make a record for a while. I do remember listening to her Up album. Uh, that was like in 2003, I believe. And it was the last one for a long time. Uh, that was some, like Up and Come On Over were the, like, the main albums I listened to. I didn't really listen to her first one, but however, I have been listening to her first one for a while now, so I like it too. But I just was, at, when I was little, I knew more about her other two albums rather than her first album. So yeah, she took a break and then she got Lyme disease at the end of her up tour and then she also had a baby and everything. So that she took a break just from the spotlight and everything in general. So like when she was taking a break, I was so young that I just didn't understand like, you know, where is she blah, 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 blah. I was, I feel like I was like too young to understand where she had went or anything. So it just kind of like never came to me, I guess. Maybe when I was little, I might've thought about it, but I just feel like I was so young to like understand any of it. Flash forward <laughs> to several years later in 2017 her now album came up the album first album she had made in like 15 years and I don't remember ordering the album but I ordered it I pre-ordered it along with getting some tickets I always loved Shania Twain my mom has two so I decided to get my mom um, Shania Twain tickets for her birthday I like her too so it's like gonna be cool for both of us but uh, when ordering the tickets, I think it came with the album. So I don't remember though. I don't, I don't remember buying the tickets or anything. I kind of remember hearing about her going on tour again, but I do not remember buying them or anything. I got the tickets for her birthday and she loved them, of course. My mom's birthday is in November and we were going to be seeing her on june 4th of 2018. the concert where it was at was duluth georgia that was the closest so we went to duluth and i remember actually a little bit of that day i have a photo i can show you guys i think i got 
a VIP for us. We thought we were going to be meeting her. Like, I thought it was like a meet and greet, but it was not. It was just, it was still fun and everything. It was like just some refreshments and just like where you go to the merch earlier, I think, than some people. And they had, they, they, they had some really good stuff for us. Like, they treated us very well. So, here is the photo of me and my mom. Okay, this camera is the worst at focusing. I also made like a cute little collage of our experience with the VIP treatment. I hope it does. If not, I'll try to remember to put a picture as well up there. So yeah, we got to the VIP lounge and I met a friend and we're friends still. So that was very nice. I remember us just sitting and chilling and like eating and everything before we went to our seats. Like I said, I thought we were going to be getting a meet and greet photo with her. I obviously guess I didn't read the VIP details very well. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of was disappointed because I told my mom we were going to be meeting her. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all cool and everything. So we finally go to our seats and she had someone perform before, opened the show on Bastion Baker. He's really good. He had some cool songs and everything, and he kept tricking us and kept saying, one more, just one more, just one more. And I'm like, I want to see Janina. <laughs> yeah, it was cool to see him. I want to show another photo. Here's me. I'm trying to just show me. I don't want to show everybody else because you never know what people don't, you know. There's me, my VIP thing. And then here's my mother sitting at her seats. And then here's one more photo of me she got while we were waiting for the queen. I call her the queen because I think she's the queen. Fast forward, Ashton Baker, he did all his songs. After that, I think we waited a little bit longer because usually bef between like the opening act and then the person you're there to see, they take a little bit of a break. It was so cool how she came on the stage. First, I'm going to show you how she opened it. Okay, so. I'm going to explain it first because we were front row. She came from the back of the whole venue, like the very back. So she had a good ways to walk. So this was the footage that I got. I'm very short, so the people behind me were really tall and I couldn't tell what I was getting. I just wanted to get it on film, what I could get. So here it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had the camera all crazy. I couldn't figure out. Now I know how to film when I'm at concerts. So you, as you can see, she's way back there in the spotlight. I could not see that. I was just filming with my phone. And her, the guy that does the drums for her, I think his name's Elijah, I think. He is so good at the drums. My God, like her band is amazing. This next video, after it loads, is her actually getting to the stage and getting onto the stage. So this is what I got. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Queen! Oh my god, yes! Love it! Oh my god. Yes, we are ready, so ready. I said. I said. Are you ready, Atlanta? Yes, we are. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Loved it. Okay, so that was ooh, that was when she came on the stage. I'm going to talk first from what I remember before I show you. It was after the song, I'm going to get you again, it was after that song that she came down to the front row. I was not expecting it whatsoever. I do not remember her coming down. I, I didn't film that because I didn't know what she was doing. I didn't know she was going to do that. I started filming though when she was down there already and talking to some people. And I'm like, I hope she comes down to me because we were like, you see the stage right here and she came like this way. So we were further down and I'm like... She better come down to like come down to me. <laughs> he like made eye contact a lot. So here is what I got. That's me. If you heard me over my talking, I said, "Come on!" Her outfit. I love her outfits. All the outfits she 
wears in her shows. I think they're so pretty. This outfit in particular reminded me of, if you've watched Cats the Musical, I'm not sure if you've heard of that, it's by Andrew Lloyd Webber. That's one of my favorite musicals I've seen. I've seen it a couple times, but her outfit reminded me of a cat suit like they wear. I thought that was so cute. So she was looking for certain people in the audience because like from her view from the stage to like us is like so different. She's like, whoa, I feel like it's true. Like you're up on the stage and then you have somebody in mind that you want to go see, but like you're coming down and you don't know exactly where they're at. That makes sense. Uh-oh. She dropped the band and she didn't even sign it. Oh my god. Yep, she said life looks so different from here. Okay, so she was she found someone she was looking for. And I'm like still hoping and I'm like, oh my god, I hope she comes down to see me. <laughs> That's a long step. Okay, so at the end of this video, I'm not sure if you can hear it or anything. I have to say what she says. But at the very end of the video I got, before I ended it, let me see if I can let you hear it first. Okay. She said, I just gotta go down, there's a little girl over here, and she says, so adorable, I can't even stand it. And that was me. I was 19 at the time, and I know I look a lot younger than a lot of people think. I'm 23 years old, I'll be 24 in August, so yeah. Here's where she already came to me. <laughs> so my mom is filming this video. Basically, I was, I'm was i so little that she wanted her security guard to pick me up and put me over the railing. So I guess it would be easier to chit chat for a second. Which I thought was so funny. She, she's like, can you pick her up and put her over? Put her there. Put her there? Can you record this? Can you record this? She's recording already. Oh my god. Okay, first. Okay, so the lighting of this is really, really weird. I just gotta say, I look so different from there to now, obviously. Uh, this was a couple years ago. I um, wear braces on my legs, and that was the first thing she noticed. I think she went, like, she went down like that. And she's like, hi, cutie. Hi. hi. I, I feel like because I wasn't expecting this moment to happen, I never had time to, like, prepare myself for it. So I feel like I, I don't know. I was kind of just, like, shocked or whatever. Hi! That's my actual name. I said I'm actually 19, but I don't look like it. As if she didn't, I mean, as if she couldn't tell. I feel like I have to say that though. Like, I don't look like it because people think, no, you're not. You're not 19. I was like, I am 19. I just don't look like it. Well, I was 19. <laughs> And look at my cute top. That was the merch I got. It's the Let's Go Girls top uh, with like a light pink. And I am so glad I figured out a way to wear it because I'm like, I want to wear this top. But like that looks so cute with what I was wearing. I had like this one piece red and white romper, red and white romper on. And so it looked very good with this top. said there she's like everybody's gonna want this for like a I don't know what she said I didn't make sense to me but she thought it was cool so she said you're stunning I've been watching you all night <laughs> oh she said you're really making my night oh my god thank you She, I feel like I should have said I'm a huge fan as well, but I wanted to put some spotlight on my mother and said, my mom is such a huge fan. We are both huge fans. But this is her birthday present I got for her. Birthday present I got for her, yep. Oh, wow. She said, happy birthday, mom. She's like, huh? Well, I was like, huh? She's like. Thank you. Thank you. Do you 
are adorable. That's just in the video. <laughs> okay, right here, I did not know they were getting a picture, so I kept, I kept waving. I don't know what I was thinking. I was waving, so I don't know. I, it was a photo, but whatever. Why am I waving? I don't know why I'm waving. It's a photo! Okay, so that was so cool. Ah, I can't even imagine. And so after that, we were like, we have to go see her again. The show was amazing as well. Like, not just because I did the meet and greet or anything. Her show was amazing as always. She does a kick-ass job with her shows. I'll also show a second time that I got to meet her. I met her again the next year, which was at the end of the year. It was in... It was 2019 of December and I got to meet her again. This next thing I'm going to talk about was the following year, which was, like I said, it's December 2019. I wanted to see her again. <laughs> so I did a meet and greet with her, an actual meet and greet. Me and my mother went um, backstage and got to talk more than like just a, like a fast paced, picture and go. You know what I mean? Like there was a difference. This was in 2019. I'm going to show a couple photos. This was at her residency that she is ending soon, but I'm going again in August to see it one more time because duh. This was in the store that they had for merch and stuff. So they didn't have this when we went in December. They didn't have like this actual store that had her merch for some reason, but I got this photo. It was the day of the meet and greet and the mirror says let's go girls and i think it's so cute and we had already went in the beginning of december that year for opening night and then we had their set of tickets for the meet and greet i had that top already my camera shut off okay yeah and then this photo right here was when I was getting ready, pretty super early. That's how I am though. So like when I'm super excited for something, I get ready early, so early. And then this photo right here was right before we went down to the venue to check in. Do I regret my outfit choice? Yes. Um, I don't know why I decided to wear this and not wear leopard print, but that's just what I went with. If it were me now, I would have definitely worn like one of my outfits that I've gotten from, from her merch. Anyways, I did have the necklace on that is for the Shania Kids um, can charity. And then I had my hair curled and everything. It literally looks like I dip dyed my hair right there, but I did not. I'm not sure why it looks like that. And then down here, I'm wearing leggings and these like boots that kind of kept falling down. They're like the cute, like long leg boots, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is when we went downstairs. I was showing, they gave me my, our tickets because they had the tickets there at Will Call. And then I also had my program because I was wanting to get her to sign it if I could. So that was before. My mom did a boomerang. Cheers to tonight. I just had water. I don't drink. I don't really like anything. So I just drink my coffees and Olipops and water and sometimes Coke Zero. It's a photo I got, I think, before we went back. And then, okay, so we went through, we checked in and everything. When we got in there, we were taken to a little area just to sit and chill and have refreshments. And they had this little cute photo booth where you could get photos and boomerangs. And then, after we went there, we had a backstage tour. We could go on the stage and do a tour of um, what it looks like. It was very cool. I thought it was so cool to see her point of view from where she, like, performs and where all the dancers are and everything. Like, there and then there all the seats and everything. <laughs> it just looks so awesome. I don't know if I have footage of that. I don't think I do. Because I don't know if we were allowed to film that. So I might not have filmed anything. And then after we did that, it was time, like, they took us back to where we were waiting with refreshments. They got me and my mom and another lady to do the meet and greet. Okay, I remember this one. I know exactly we were going to meet her. We had to walk, like, outside to get to another part of the building, I believe. Probably was easier than 
another way they um, had. So he went outside. <laughs> I call her mom. Call her my second mom just because she's so maternal and everything. So, and I look up to her a lot. So, yeah, so she's my second mom. <laughs> and then right here was where we were waiting for her um, to do the meet and greet. I'm not going to play the volume. I got a little video of just where we were waiting. That's where we were going to take the photo and just what it looked like. I wasn't sure if I was actually allowed to be filming, so I kind of just like was like, did very quick shots and everything because I didn't want to get in trouble because I wanted to film. So I wanted to obviously film talking with her and everything, so I'd have it to look back on. So I didn't ask. I was like, because I didn't want them to say no, and then like they get on to me for filming. You know what I mean? So I filmed. This video right here was us just waiting. My mom was talking with the lady that um, helped us um, do this. And I was just like, <laughs> I was just like chilling. I'm like, I don't know when she's coming and I didn't want to be like surprised or anything. I was like, <laughs> so I was just quiet. But first, before she came out, Fred came out and talked to us for a little bit, which is so nice of him. He's very, very sweet. And we just talked a little bit. So, I'm not sure after that how long, much longer it was until she came out. We did wait a little bit, probably about half an hour for her to come down to talk to us. This video right here, it was so dark back there, so you can't really tell much, but I got a video of her coming down the stairs. She came down the stairs. I asked before she came out, I asked Miss Sandy, I'm like, when, where is she coming from? And she said she was coming from up the stairs. She was up there. Cause I wanted to know, I didn't want to like be waiting and not like have it filmed, you know what I mean? So, you're not going to be able to see much here because it was so dark and once she came toward us, I stopped the video for some reason. I wish I kept filming, but... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I said I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> started talking I kind of went like I just kind of shut off for some reason I guess I was like in shock or whatever I didn't get some of the footage I thought I was filming and then I was not so the conversation was longer than what I have gotten so we got to talk for a little bit a, little, a good bit in this video right here I think she could tell that I was filming because I would be having this I don't think she cared though my mom was talking about the same old same old how like you know we started listening to her in the car when I was little she would Play her songs. She's heard it a million times because that's how every child, I feel like, well, people my age, how they started listening to her music. I never got to go to one of the concerts that I've been to their concerts. Okay, so you've already seen so, this one, Mom. Oh, yeah. She said, so you've already seen this one, Mom. <laughs> yes, we have seen it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and so you can land up. But, yeah, when she was little, she, I would play their music in the car. And she She's heard it. <laughs> literally said that she's heard this <laughs> I told her I'm like she's heard this so many times <laughs> oh, that was funny then we go on new songs too yeah. oh yeah cool so what is, what is your favorite new one I only do I do swinging and mm -hmm. life is about to get good that's, so that's yeah wrong. I literally interrupted <laughs> I said so yeah my favorite blah 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 because I wanted to talk a little bit <laughs> Yeah, my favorite one is play. Oh my god, I didn't realize there were people behind her, like, and I was filming, but they didn't say anything, so. Singing, and then also all in all, and then like oh. that, the popular ones are like that don't impress me much, right. and then I thought the woman. Those are my favorites. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. I'd love to do that one live. You need to. I told her, you need to do that one live. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, thank you. It's so good. I said the exact same thing I just said. Okay, so after that, I feel like we talked to her a lot because, like I said, I didn't get everything that we, uh, we, when we were talking, I didn't record everything because I said I thought I was recording and I was not. So that basically is the meet and greet that we did. It's, I thought it was just amazing. And so, yeah, it's basically... The two times I've gotten to meet her and I'll be seeing her again this year, which is so awesome. 
I just want to say one thing also it's nice to have someone to look up to especially as an, like an artist and if you're like let's say you're a creative person as well to have someone to look up to because oh my god she like went through a lot and like that's just you know someone like to look up to like that like that's i feel like that's so amazing and yeah oh, also i do want to sh um talk about one thing it was the second show i went to i got a photo with two of my friends one of them i had just i met literally that month and then the other one i had known for a while since the first show so we got a photo together and my she had posted it on her twitter the girl that i had met and she and I had liked it and she had tagged me and, and the guy in there. And I think that's how she and I followed me on Twitter. Yeah, I thought it was so cool. I literally had woken up to, I want to say it was December 7th. She had followed me on Twitter. I turned on my phone because I turned my phone off during the night. And I wake up to like my notifications going off because they go off like crazy. Shania Twain followed you. And I'm like... I was shocked. I first was like, okay, I've got to check and make sure that it was actually her because you know how like a lot of people can make fan accounts and really be impersonators? Yeah. I thought that was that. thought it was that, but I'm like, that's a check mark beside there, but I'm going to still make sure. Sure enough, I had went to her profile and she follows me. <laughs> I honestly think it was because of the photo of with my friends that she had saw that and she knew that we knew each other. I think that's helped. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a fan, big fan. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, just give it a like, comment, subscribe, and share. I would love for more people to see my channel. So if you can tell others about my channel, that means so much to me. I love you so much, guys. Bye. Dancing to your beat.